Hi guys and welcome to the part two of our Christmas outfit tutorial. In the first part we've made this snuggle sack and now it's time to work a matching beanie with pom-pom for this snuggle sack. Remember this is newborn um, size. We are using the same yarn. You have the information in the description below. Um, also you have a link um, with the uh, store for this uh, yarn. For this project we need red and white I have of course you can change you can use green and white or whatever combination you like more I have my mannequin head I will use it at the end double pointed needles number um, 4.5 millimeter or US 7 because we are working uh, circular you need a tapestry needle, you need a stitch marker, you need scissors and um, the pom-pom makers. First we need to long tail, cast on. A 56 stitches. <laughs> I take my first double pointed needle and I will cast on on my first double pointed needle 18 stitches so one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So these are the stitches for the first double pointed needle. For this project you need to work with four double pointed needle. Okay, so these are the stitches for the first needle. Now pick up the second needle like this, hold it together in your right hand with the first one and continue to cast on. This time we will cast on 20 stitches for the second uh, needle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 
So I have 18 stitches on my first needle, 20 stitches on my second needle, and I need to cast on another 18 stitches for the third needle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventy, eighteen. We make a knot here at the last stitch together with the tail just to be sure that we are securing the last uh, stitch and now we need to join in round and start to work in rib two by two for seven rows. You can work six, you can work seven, you can work more in case you are not using the same yarn and you need um, a different brim to your beanie. When joining in round, we need to be careful to not twist the stitches. Okay, and you already know that I am working this tail together with my uh, first four or five stitches. So we start with knit two stitches then we purl the next two stitches and this is the repeat for the rib two by two again purl uh, sorry knit the first the next two stitches and I will leave my tail on the back of my work and then continue to purl the next two stitches knit two stitches one two then purl the next two stitches knit two stitches one two, purl the next two stitches, knit two stitches, then purl the next two stitches. The first row is the most difficult because it is the setup row and if you don't have experience working uh, circular with double pointed needles it might be a little uh, harder but with um, patience and uh, watching this video I am sure that you uh, will manage this uh, method so we continue to knit two stitches, then purl the next two stitches, like this. Knit the next two stitches, 
one, two. Then purl the next two stitches. Knit two stitches, purl two stitches, knit two stitches, then purl two stitches, knit two stitches, then purl the next two stitches, knit two stitches, purl the next two stitches, knit two stitches, then purl the next two stitches. Knit two stitches, purl the next two stitches. We are almost at the end of row one. So knit two stitches and purl the last two stitches. And now is the moment where you should place your um, stitch marker. Uh, I will use as a stitch marker this remaining uh, tail of yarn from my cast on. Okay, now we need to start with row two. Remember, I am working uh, seven rows of rib two by two. So knit the first two stitches and then purl the next two. Knit two stitches, then purl the next two. And I will come back after I have my seven rows of uh, ribbing uh, two by two. I've done my seven rows in rib two by two. Now I need to cut the yarn, the white yarn, and I will work with the red one. This is what I have left from my white skin. So uh, this is not enough for my, for my pom pom. So I can tell you right now uh, for this uh, set, beanie and snuggle sack, you need two skins of red yarn and two of white. Um, of course, if you um, will use the same yarn. With a different yarn and a different uh, yardage, uh, it's possible to knit less, uh, depending on what yarn you decide to work uh, your Christmas set. Um, before I attach my uh, red yarn, I want to measure my work so far, these uh, seven rows just a second so let's see I have three centimeters until now next take your red yarn and now we will work only in um, knit stitch okay. 
ok? Leave this white on the back of the work. Take your red yarn and start to knit every stitch. We uh, will continue to work in knit stitch until um, our work measure um, between seven seven point five centimeters or eight uh, centimeters long. So this will be a three maybe 3.2 inches so I have a very little space between my camera and my table and um, it is difficult to use double pointed needles okay so need every stitch And I will show you how to um, secure the red yarn and the white. One more needle. I think this set will be very cute at the end and it will look gorgeous on a baby. Okay, so this is my last stage. This will be eight, uh, row 8. Now let's close here the two yarns I am making a knot and a double knot I take my tapestry needle like this and Pull the white yarn on the front of your work and start to hide the yarn like this. Waving through half of the stitch. Again, and that's it. We can cut here the white one. can continue to work with the red one but also we will secure the red one by wrapping around uh, the yarn we are working with like this How many stitches you want and at the end you only cut 
this red tail and that's it I think it's enough okay so this uh, will be row 9 once I have my 7.5 or 8 centimeters long I will tell you um, how many rows I worked in total because right now um, I don't know so this will be row 9 continue to work only in knit stitch until you have 7.5 centimeters or 8 centimeters and this will be 3 3.5 inches and I will come back to tell you how many rows I have in total and to start the decrease part with you I've made my 8 centimeters long and now I can start to decrease before I want to tell you the number of rows I have until now 19 rows 7 rows in rib 2x2 two two, plus 12 rows with the red yarn so 19 rows in total now we can start to decrease so row 20 is the first row of our decrease we start with knit six stitches one two three four five and six then knit two stitches together again knit six one two three So three, four, five, six, then knit two stitches together. Knit six, one, two, three, four, five, six, then knit two stitches together again knit six one two three four five six then knit two stitches together again knit six one two three four five six then knit two stitches together and again knit six one two three four five six and knit two stitches together and the last repeat knit six one two three four five six then knit two stitches together so this was row 20 row 21 knit every stitch without making any decrease so on row 21 we knit every stitch like this i know it's a little bit fast but 
I hope you understand. And if you still wonder about my style of knitting, this is the Portuguese or Greece style of knitting. I think it's the fast and the best for our hand, especially if um, you are uh, knitting for hours each day. We almost done with row 21. And now we start row 22, which is a decrease row. Row 22 knit five stitches one two three four and five then knit two stitches together and this is the repeat for row 22 knit five stitches two three four five then knit two stitches together again knit five one, two, three, four, five, then knit two stitches together. Again, knit five, one, two, three, four, five, knit two stitches together, knit five, one, two, three, four, five, I have one stitch left, I will move this stitch on my other needle, and now I will knit two stitches together. Again, knit five, one, two, three, four, five, then knit two stitches together, and the last repeat, one, two, three, four, five, and knit the last two stitches together. This was row 22. Um, as you can see, on every decrease row, we lose seven stitches. Okay. Row 23, we need every stitch without making any decrease. On row 23, uh, you should count, uh, I think, 42 stitches. Let me see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yes, 42. So on row 23, you should count 40 three, uh, two, sorry, 42 stitches. Almost done with row 23. I'm choosing to show you every row of the decrease part because some of you um, told me that I skip um, 
very often to another row and uh, they can follow my uh, decrease part so this is for you guys okay row 24 it's a decrease row again we start with knit four stitches one two three and four then we knit two stitches together again knit four one two three four and then knit two stitches together again knit four one two three four then knit two stitches together knit four stitches one two three four knit two stitches together knit four one two three four i have one stitch on my needle <clears throat> i place it on my other needle so i can knit two stitches together again knit four one two three four then knit two stitches together knit four one two three four and knit two stitches together so this was row 24 let me see i don't want to uh, mistake so uh, 20 21 22 23 24 okay after row 24 you should count uh, 35 stitches row 25 we need every stitch without making any decrease okay so on row 25 we knit every stitch almost done with row 25 and now we can start row 26 which is another decrease row we start row 26 by knitting three stitches two three then knit two stitches together and this is the repeat for row 26 knit three stitches two three then knit two stitches together again knit three one two three then knit two stitches together knit three one two three then knit two stitches together knit three one two three again i have one stitch on my left needle i will place this stitch on my next needle and now i will knit two stitches together knit three one two 
three, knit two stitches together. And the last you repeat, knit three, one, two, three, and knit two stitches together. This was row 26. Let's make row 27, which is a knit row without any decrease. So on row 27, we knit every stitch. We have two rows more and we almost finish this little and precious beanie. So this is row 27. Remember on row 27, we need every stitch. And also on this row, you should count 28 stitches. Okay. Next row 28 is a decrease row. On this row, we start with knit two stitches, then knit two stitches together. And this is the repeat for row 28. Knit two stitches, knit two stitches together. Again, knit two stitches, knit two stitches together, knit two stitches, knit two stitches together, knit two stitches. Once again, I have one stitch left on my left needle and I will move this stitch on my next needle and then I will knit two stitches together. Again, knit two stitches, knit two stitches together, knit two stitches and knit two stitches together. So this was row 28. Let me count the stitches for you. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 80, 20, 21 stitches. So after row uh, 28, you should count 21 stitches. Row 29 is a decrease row. And we start with knit one stitch, knit two stitches together, knit one stitch, knit two stitches together. Knit one stitch. I have one stitch on my left needle. I will move the stitch on my next double pointed needle and then I knit two stitches together. Knit one stitch, knit two stitches together, knit one stitch, again one stitch on my left needle. I will move this one stitch on my next needle and then I am making two, uh, I am knitting two stitches together. Knit one stitch, knit two stitches together, knit one stitch and knit two stitches together. This was row. 29 let's see the stitches after row 29 I have 2 4 5 6 8 10 12 14 we can make an extra row let's make it row 30 will be also a decrease row 
and on row 30 we will knit two stitches together all the way so knit two together knit two together i have one stitch on my left needle i will move the stitch on my next double pointed needle and i am knitting two stitches together again knitting two stitches together i have one stitch on my left needle i move this stitch on my next double pointed needle and then i knit two stitches together again knit two stitches together and knit two stitches together so this was row 30 and after this last row you should count seven stitches on um, your needles now let's cut the yarn leaving a tail and let's close the stitches of our beanie with the help of a tapestry needle we pick up every stitch on every needle and pull the yarn through the stitches like this like this and like this And now let's wave the yarn one, or two, three times again through the remaining stitches and pull to close the stitches. Like this. like this now insert the tapestry needle and turn the beanie on the back side to secure the stitches we are making double knot the double knot is when you insert your tapestry needle two times in your loop so this will be a normal knot if I pull the yarn but I want to be a double knot so I'm inserting again my tapestry needle and yarn through this loop and pull tight wave a little bit the yarn again through the stitches and leave this on the back of the beanie I will show you later what to do with this one next I have here my left um, over yarn red I can cut here and I have this one from my cast on stitches which I will wave gently through a couple of stitches up like this and down and we can also cut here and the last step is to attach the pom-pom I will show you right away okay I have my pom-pom here and let's attach this pom-pom to our cute little beanie like this here in the center where you just closed the 
uh, stitches of the beanie, insert your tapestry needle and pull like this. Pull tight. Okay, now go back again, not in the same place, and insert in the pom pom. Now again, go back. I know it's ugly right now, but we will arrange this pom pom and you will see a big difference. And again, in another place, go through the pom-pom. And again. Pull tight and make two double knots with these tails. Cut here and now we can arrange our pom-pom with the help of the scissors and a lot, a lot of patience. You will have a beautiful and cute yarn pom-pom. This pom-pom is a little bigger than those from the snuggle sack. I want it like this to be bigger. And continue to arrange your pom-pom and I will come back to show you my final result and how uh, beautiful this pom-pom, uh, this uh, beanie, sorry, will match our snuggle sack. And ta-da! <laughs> this is the cutest beanie. Anyway, it's different on the head of a real baby than my mannequin. So this is how we work this matching set for Christmas. Uh, I didn't give you the final measurements of our beanie without the pom-pom. Uh, the height of the beanie is well 12 centimeters, almost 12 centimeters, and wide. Here it has 13 centimeters. Okay. And this precious is ready. Oh my god, I think I think I will make more beanies like this this is such a cutie and remember this is for newborn uh, baby in case you uh, want to use it for um, two three months old definitely you will need to add stitches to add rows um, because this won't fit a three old uh, uh, three months old baby God, I am so excited <laughs> with this uh, Christmas set and uh, I hope uh, from the bottom of my heart that you will enjoy knitting this. Uh, you will enjoy uh, learning about this wonderful yarn that uh, has a beautiful uh, uh, palette color and uh, not only these um, colors for Christmas sets but 
it's perfect for Christmas set. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will finally um, have the time to make all the tutorials that you uh, you've been asking me for uh, so many months. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to uh, send me a message or uh, to tag Little Knits on Instagram uh, because I am always um, very happy to see your work and uh, to share also my work with you. I wish you a very nice and perfect day if it is possible and until the next tutorial thank you for watching and stay safe bye bye